As part of efforts to promote peaceful coexistence, harmonious relationship and mutual understanding across the country, Nigerian women have been charged to play critical roles in peace building for sustainable growth and development of the nation. This advice was given at a one-day roundtable discussion and sensitization program with 30 groups of women organizations, both Christian and Muslim, organized by Kuka Center in Kaduna State, Northwest Nigeria. Plus TV correspondent Habila Darufai filed in this report and presented from our studio. Over the years, Kaduna State has had its fair share in religious violence, ethnic and communal crises, leading to loss of lives and property, with most women and children affected. Hence, the need to engage women as critical stakeholders to promote peace in the society to put an end to conflicts amidst a series of challenges confronting the nation's peaceful coexistence. The coordinator of Kuka's Center, Kaduna, Reverend Father Sixtus Onu, says hypocrisy, bias, and sentiment fuel crisis in the society. He noted that pragmatic and deliberate approach to engage women in peace building will bring lasting peace to communities. What we have come to discover in development work is that it is easy for people to gather and finish talking and it ends there. It ends up as a talk show. But this one, we're emphasizing that it shouldn't just end there and on the talking table. Let's put it in action. And that's why we're saying, let's end the hypocrisy about peace building, about living together. I know that when the women decide to have uh, community meetings or they meet in the market or any other social places or religious places. If we keep away our bias, our sentiments, and decide to be more genuine and intentional and deliberate about peace building, I think we can make a uh, headway. Also, the keynote facilitator, Kautum Abdulaziz, says it's imperative to build the capacity of women in decision making so as to impact the lives of people and to stop the escalation of conflict at community level you know, put into use the gender equity, diversity and social inclusion um, framework, which allows for certain percentage of intentional integration of women inclusivity in programming. I think that will go a long way in not just sensitizing the women, but building their capacity and their interpersonal skills to be able to handle, you know, issues in their communities. So women are custodians of our culture. So it is important for women to take upon those rules by instilling the morals, you know, in children, you know, proper parenting. Um, um, and uh, teaching um, you know, kids on what peace building entails, even coming from a religious perspective now. You know, that will go a long way in building the, the idiosyncrasies, you know, the parochial belief of, of these children in a way that at the end of the day, they're not radicalized. Once there is any crisis, if it is the man, the men go for war. They were given birth by women. They are somebody's children, a mother's children. They are a woman's husband. So you will notice that at the end of the day, if it is the children or the men, it is the woman. Crime is dynamic. What you used to know before that used to happen, the crime has now changed. Crime is no about man or woman. And there's a different type of crime. Some women don't participate directly, but conspiracy. But what our advice, and that is why we're doing this program to ensure that sometimes it's advocacy. They need to know the danger or why they are there. The Kuka Center and women insist that they will continue to engage critical stakeholders, Christians and Muslims, to foster peace and unity in conflict communities and the state and nation at large. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.